good miss. Miles, a 311 hitter on the season in 35 games. He cuts through the high fastball. Back to back strikeouts for Kalina. Two down in the first. Here's the 1 1 to Soltis. Rope to left field, and that'll get down for extra bases for Keegan Soltis. Gazzardo plays it off the wall. Soltis strolls into second with a stand up double. And Millersville has a runner in scoring position with one out in the first. And the 2 2 again. Williams grounds it to the left side. Going to be a tough play. Backhanded by Doherty. He'll have nowhere to go. It's an infield single for Matthew Williams, and the Marauders go ahead 1 0. That one gets by Doss, kicks off the backstop, feed back to the plate is Wild. One run comes in to score. Following is Hauser, and two runs come in on the Wild pitch. Millersville goes ahead three to nothing. And And the 2-2 from Kalina. Swing and a miss, strikeout number three for Carson Kalina, one down in the second. Soltis takes off the 3-1 to Caulfield, is laced into left center, and it gets by Carter in center field. Soltis is going to score all the way from first. Caulfield round second, trying to get to third. And the relay is off the mark, an RBI triple for Thomas Caulfield. Puts the Marauders ahead by four. And grounded to third through the left side. Under the glove of DeWeese coming in to score is Caulfield. It's a 5-0 Marauder lead on the base knock from Cole Hauser. Runner goes, the one-two is hammered into left center field. Gazzardo back at the track, and it's going to one-hop the wall. Hauser into third. Coach Sheehan waves him around. Relay to the plate. There won't be a throw. It's an RBI double for Matthew Williams, and the Marauders go up by six. Payoff on the way to Seibert, and John hits it a ton to left field. Gazzardo gives it a glance, and it's gone over the trees. A two-run home run for John Seibert, and the Marauders go up by eight. Two strike hit for the last fellow there. He, uh, he might got too much of the plate on that one. And the one two gets him to chase up high. Strikeout number five for Carson Kalina. You know, that's not going to. Lined that. back up the middle, and Keegan Soltis is three for three, and it's only the fourth inning. Two to Caulfield. And that uh -oh. one is hit a ton uh -oh. to right center. Uh oh. Daggers ranging over at the track at the wall. It's gone. Arrivederci. A three run home run for Caulfield. The Marauders go ahead 11 to 2 on our second Marauder bomb of the game. <laughs> what was that about him seeing the ball well, Chief? I'm telling you. And Simmons drives one into the gap into right center. That'll be extra bases. That's a triple. Watch. Seibert in to score. Tyler Wright right behind him. Simmons round second. He's chugging into third. And it'll be a two-run triple for Chase Simmons as the Marauders go ahead by 11. Sitting for all that long time in between all these innings. Breaking ball grounded to short. Could be two. Caulfield to Losh for one. Over to first in Not time. A 6-4-3 double play. And it's another quick inning for Carson Kalina as the defense rolls its third double play of the game behind him. Now here's the payoff to Caulfield. And it's roped. Oh, Fair oh no. ball inside the th first baseline. It'll be another extra base hit for Caulfield. Stop it, too. He's into second and rounds the bag. Coming all the way to third, it'll be the second triple of the game for Thomas Caulfield, his third extra base hit. Brent Taylor comes in to score, and it's 15-2 Millersville. The 19 batters he's faced. And the 3-1. Called strike. Full count now for Miles. Showing off the ump a little bit there, boy. If we can wait for the pitch. Get ready to swing. Yep. Anything close now. That's right. And the payoff. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes is Miles. And that's six strikeouts for Carson Kalina. Put out gets us started to retire Doherty and brings up Wyatt Miles. The defense here for Millersville in game two. The outfield, left to right, Bren Taylor, Chase Simmons, and Tyler Wright. On the infield, Keegan Soltis and Matthew Williams at the corners. Caulfield and Jimmy Losh up the middle. As that one's tapped back up the middle again, a chance for Caulfield. Off balance, throw to first is low and dug out by Williams for the put out. Right. 
Here's the 2-0 to Brent Taylor, who laces it back up the middle. It drops in front of Carter, and it's the second hit of the inning for Millersville. Good pitch, too. Well, instead, it's a full count for Carter. Infield comes in with the runner at third, and the pitch swung on and missed. First strikeout for Mike it as he sits down Carter. Hauser with a drive to left field. Gazzardo back at the track, at the wall. He's gone. Arrivederci, a solo home run for Cole Hauser. Puts the Marauders ahead, one to nothing. Uh, baby Cole. Nobody had to get out of the way of that one. Nope. Poked around about that, but my stance was always, dude, you're 13 for 13. Who cares about anything else? That's, that's an insane number. As this one's that, lofted out to right field, and that drops for a base hit for Seibert. Hit them where they ain't, baby. Opposite field single, back-to-back -back hits for Millersville, and that's already five hits for this Marauder offense. Make it 0-2 after the foul. Yeah, it's a Shepherd week for the Marauders, it would seem, as a women's lacrosse is playing at Shepherd on Wednesday. And a strike three on the half swing. Back-to-back -back strikeouts from Mike. It, that's three for the Marauder righty. On the way, Hauser with a drive to left field. Uh -oh. Gazzardo gives it a glance, and it's gone. Arrivederci, the second home run of the game for Cole Hauser. Have a day, Cole Hauser. It's now 5 nothing Marauders on the three-run home run from the Ville catcher, his second bomb, and as many at-bats. Cover so much ground. I hear you. I hear you. He is also what you would call human, so can't cover all of it. Mm. Swing and a miss by Daggers. He's down on strikes, four strikeouts for Alex Mikett. Work, too. It doesn't matter that he just dead sprinted and dove into a bag head first. He's ready to rock and roll. First pitch to Caulfield is lined through the right side past a diving Mulhall. And finally, a diving play that doesn't result in an out. Caulfield takes off for second, and the relay is not in time. Caulfield steals an extra 90 as Daggers and Miles weren't giving him much attention as he rounded first. Fouled back. He battles back and gets it full. Mulhall, Daggers, and Deweese to follow. And the payoff pitch on the way from Mike. It's swinging a miss. He battles back from 3-0 to strike out Miles. Payoff pitch on the way now to Taylor. Runner goes from first. Taylor shoots it the That's other way to third. Ball. And Deweese can't field it on the dive. Wright comes in to score from third. It'll be an RBI double for Brent Taylor and a two-run Marauder lead. It's a 6-4 game. Payoff pitch on the way. Rochelle gets the swing and miss, and Carter strikes out for the third time this game. Rochelle quickly working, 0-2 now on Gazzardo. As the Chief rejoins us. I saw that strikeout. That was nice. How about that strikeout? There you go. Back-to-back -back strikeouts from Rochelle. Caulfield with a drive now to left center field. Gazzardo back at the track, at the wall. It's gone. Arrivederci. A two-run home run for Thomas Caulfield. His third hit of the game. Marauders go ahead 9-6 to six on the two-run bomb. 